Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Next Generation Mechanic. Today I want to give you a quick tour of the 737 MAX electronic equipment bay. If we enter via the electronic equipment access hatch we see the electronic equipment bay. Here we mostly see the communication computers. Did you know that 57 kilometers or 36 miles of electrical wiring is inside a 737? These are the flight management computers and air data reference units. Fun fact, if you have to remove this electronic equipment rack, a specialized Boeing team has to come and realign the air data inertia reference units because the alignment is critical and Boeing's special team only has these kind of equipment to perform that task. If we move to the right we see the normal equipment cooling fan on top and the alternate equipment cooling fan below it. Here we see all kinds of computers for different systems. If we look down we see the power distribution panel P92. There are two power distribution panels in the 737 electronic bay. The other one is P91 and more on the right of the P92. There's the other power distribution panel P91. If we look up to the ceiling we see the flight control cables and the vacuum waste tube. You also see a drip shield above all electronic equipment as seen here. The drip shields are to protect the computers from moisture possibly dripping into the computers. Here you also see the drip shields above the other equipment racks. Thank you for watching and see you next time.